Okay, so um, we're back at it with um, game two from Prep Test 78, and um, now we're gonna look at question eight. So this one starts off as kind of like your typical question specific condition uh, type question. So if both R and Y are assigned to the project, um, then which one of the following could be true? So um, let me have our little setup, and then we put R and Y in. Now, we don't know where they are, we just know that they're in. Okay, and then we look down our list of triggers. So um, R being in means that O is also in, and O is right before R. Um, and this little box of two can only go in the first and second spots because we know that spot three is taken with either L or T. So we've definitely got O, R here and Y is definitely fourth, and that means that for sure M is out, no room for M, um, and L or T is out. Okay, so what could be true? Um, a looks like it could be true, right? We could have L in spot three, um, M in spot one, nope, O in spot two, nope, T in 24, nope, and Y in 22, nope. So it's gotta be A. Okay, so that one was relatively straightforward. Some of the other questions on here are definitely harder. Okay, so that's question eight done. Question nine. How many of the students are there who could be the one assigned to 1921? So we have a bunch of examples where O is 1921. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of examples of that. Um, we have one example where Y is 1921. So we have um, two that we can say for sure could be assigned to 21. Okay. So if we look at our list of players, uh, we know for sure Y could be and O could be. All right, so let's see if L could be. So L, um, L or T is third, so T would have to be third in this case, and then if T is third, and T is in, then R has to be in, and if R is in, then O is right before R, but we don't have room for that, so that's not gonna work. So L can't be 1921. We can try M. Okay, um, so if we put T here, then we run into the exact same problem, right? If T is in, then R has to be in, um, and then O has to be right before R, and we just don't have room for that. So instead, we're gonna put L third, Okay, we're gonna have T out. Um, and then we have to fill in the remaining spots. Don't have room for O, R, so we can't put R in. Okay, but we can put O in and Y. So either one of those would be fine. So we can add that to our bank of acceptable solutions. Um, and M can totally be first, so that would work. Um, now R, if R is in, then we have to have O before R. So R can't ever be first. If T is in, then R is in, and then O is before R. So that one's not gonna work either because that O, R, the only spot it could ever go is here, right? So O would end up taking that first spot. So T also can't be first, okay? Um, so M, O, and Y, those are the three students that could be the one assigned to 21, and that's answer choice D is three. Right. Um, question 10. So here we have our, again, our basic like question specific condition um, format. So if Y is not assigned to the project, so Y is out. Right, so um, if Y is out, we only have one other spot in the out group left. Um, so I'd be kind of concerned about um, what if I have to put another player out, right? So here, putting R out would mean that T is also out. So I wanna be careful that I don't trigger that. Okay, so 
The thing here is just noticing that I have that one spot left. So that helps me to get there quicker. But if I didn't notice that, um, what I'd be doing is I'd just be kind of going through the rules and I'd be going, well, if M is in, it's first or second. Okay, like no real issue with that. If M is out, then everybody else is in. Um, so, I, yeah, I mean, I guess could make that work. So we could kind of go through that scenario. Um, what we could also do is because this is a could be true question, we could just test each of the answer choices, right? So again, it's like when in doubt, you just put pen to paper and um, you start making diagrams, okay? So um, I think sometimes what happens when you get really stressed on the exam and you're under that time pressure um, is that you start trying to make that deduction and um, sometimes you're gonna get there, you know, sometimes it's gonna make sense um, and you're gonna have that process, but other times you just you just have to start writing, you just have to start testing things um, and just be very deliberate about it. So let's try that strategy for this particular question. Um, so we've got answer choice A, L is not assigned to the project. All right, so if we try that out, could that be true? We have L out, so T is in, if T is in, R is in, and then we would have O and R, and O oh, who's left? M, but if M is in, M is one or two. Shoot, that doesn't work. Okay, so A is out. So we've ruled that one out. B, um, R is not assigned to the project. Why? We have R out. If R is out, T is also out. Uh-oh, we're not gonna have enough to complete our solution, right? If we have three out, then we only have three players left to put in, and we have to put four in. So B's not gonna work either. C, T is not assigned to the project. Y is out and T is out. T being out is not a trigger, okay? So it is a consequence of R being out, but it doesn't trigger anything, right? So that means everybody else has to be in. Um, so M is in, so M has to be in one of these two. Um, L would be in slot three, um, but then R is also in, and if R is in, then O has to be right before R, so they would have to take these spots we're gonna have a problem with that again, okay, right? So um, we're not gonna be able to fill up that fourth spot because M can't go there. All right, D. Y is out. Okay. Um, is it possible for O to be assigned to 1922? Okay, so O is there. Um, if O is there, we've got LT in that next spot. So we can't have OR, so R has to be out. If R is out, T is also out. That one's not gonna work. So it's gotta be E. Okay. Got Y. Um, so L assigned to 1924, which means T is going to be assigned to 23. If T is in, R is also in. If R is in, then we have O right before R. M would be out. That one works. So, you know, it took us a while to get there, um, but that's definitely possible. We actually also have it as an acceptable solution in our bank of acceptable solutions. So if Y is not assigned, it's um, possible for L to be in 1924. So um, we could also look to our bank of acceptable solutions, but if you're really in, in a bind, if you're really struggling, and I do think that even though it was answer choice E, doing process of elimination, at least you're you know, going through the options and you can feel confident in what you're doing um, and you just kind of start applying the rules one by one. Okay. All right, last question, question 11. Okay, so which one of the following students cannot be assigned to 1922? Um, so let's start with going through a bank of acceptable solutions. Uh, so for sure, R can be assigned to 22. So, okay, so we're looking for one that can't be. So if it can be, we're eliminating it. Uh, what else do we have? Um, we have M here. M can be assigned to 22. Um, and 
we have, oh, we have O and Y here. Could be assigned. 22. Okay. So, um, L and T can't be, and actually neither of them can be. So, um, let's see why. Okay. So, So if I try to make it work where L is assigned to 22, T would have to be assigned to 23. If T is assigned, then R is assigned. If R is assigned, then O has to be right before R. No room for that. If T is assigned to 22, L is assigned here, we have the same problem. If T is assigned, then R is. If R is, then O has to be right before R. Okay. So neither of those guys are going to work in um, 22, um, and L is the only one that's listed as an answer choice. So A is the correct answer. So let me know if you have any specific questions that you'd like me to go over again for this one, um, or um, questions about how to sort of generalize the, the strategies to other game types, um, any of the rules that you had trouble interpreting, um, and you'd like to see me go over those a little more slowly. Just let me know.